a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Premier League The Premier League outside England is the top level of the English Football League system. Contested by 20 clubs, it operates on a system of promotion and relegation with the English Football League. The Premier League is a corporation in which the member clubs act as shareholders. Seasons run from August to May with each team playing 38 matches. Most games are played on Saturday and Sunday afternoons. The Premier League has featured 47 English and two Welsh clubs since its inception, making it a cross-border league. The competition was formed as the FA Premier League on 20 February 1992 following the decision of clubs in the Football League First Division to break away from the Football League, founded in 1888, and take advantage of a lucrative television rights deal. The deal was worth £1 billion a year domestically as of 2013-14, with B-Sky B and BT Group securing the domestic rights to broadcast 116 and 38 games respectively. The league generates €2.2 billion Euros per year in domestic and international television rights. In 2014-15, teams were apportioned revenues of £1.6 billion, rising sharply to £2.4 billion in 2016-17. The Premier League is the most watched sports league in the world, broadcast in 212 territories to 643 million homes and a potential TV audience of 4.7 billion people. In the 2014-15 season, the average Premier League match attendance exceeded 36,000, second highest of any professional football league behind the Bundesliga's 43,500. Most stadium occupancies are near capacity. The Premier League ranks second in the UEFA coefficients of leagues based on performances in European competitions over the past five seasons, as of 2018. 49 clubs have competed since the inception of the Premier League in 1992. Six of them have won the title, Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester City, Blackburn Rovers, and Leicester City. Following the 2003-04 season, Arsenal acquired the nickname, the Invincibles, as they became, and still remain, the only club to complete a Premier League campaign without losing a single game. The record of most points in a season is 100 by Manchester City in 2017-18. Origins Despite significant European success in the 1970s and early 1980s, the late 1980s marked a low point for English football. Stadiums were crumbling, supporters endured poor facilities, hooliganism was rife and English clubs were banned from European competition for five years following the Hazel Stadium disaster in 1985. The Football League First Division, the top level of English football since 1888, was behind leagues such as Italy's Serie A and Spain's La Liga in attendances and revenues, and several top English players had moved abroad. By the turn of the 1990s the downward trend was starting to reverse. At the 1990 FIFA World Cup, England reached the semi-finals. UEFA, European football's governing body, lifted the five-year ban on English clubs playing in European competitions in 1990, resulting in Manchester United lifting the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1991, and the Taylor Report on Stadium Safety Standards, which proposed expensive upgrades to create all-seater stadiums in the aftermath of the Hillsborough disaster, was published in January of that year. In the 1980s, Major English clubs had begun to transform into business ventures, applying commercial principles to club administration. Martin Edwards of Manchester United, Irving Scholar of Tottenham Hotspur, and David Dine of Arsenal were among the leaders in this transformation. It gave top clubs more power. By threatening to break away, clubs in Division 1 managed to increase their voting power. They took a 50% share of all television and sponsorship income in 1986. Revenue from television also became more important. The Football League received £6.3 million for a two-year agreement in 1986, but by 1988, in a deal agreed with ITV, the price rose to £44 million over four years with the leading clubs taking 75% of the cash. The 1988 negotiations were conducted under the threat of ten clubs leaving to form a Super League. 
but they were eventually persuaded to stay with the top clubs taking the lion's share of the deal. As stadiums improved and match attendance and revenues rose, the country's top teams again considered leaving the Football League in order to capitalize on the influx of money into the sport. Foundation In 1990, the managing director of London Weekend Television, Greg Dyke, met with the representatives of the Big Five football clubs in England over a dinner. The meeting was to pave the way for a break away from the Football League. Dyke believed that it would be more lucrative for LWT if only the larger clubs in the country were featured on national television, and wanted to establish whether the clubs would be interested in a larger share of television rights money. The five clubs agreed with the suggestion and decided to press ahead with it. However, the league would have no credibility without the backing of the Football Association and so David Dine of Arsenal held talks to see whether the FA were receptive to the idea. The FA did not enjoy an amicable relationship with the Football League at the time and considered it as a way to weaken the Football League's position. At the close of the 1991 season, a proposal was tabled for the establishment of a new league that would bring more money into the game overall. The founder members' agreement, signed on 17 July 1991 by the game's top-flight clubs, established the basic principles for setting up the FA Premier League. The newly formed top division would have commercial independence from the Football Association and the Football League, giving the FA Premier League license to negotiate its own broadcast and sponsorship agreements. The argument given at the time was that the extra income would allow English clubs to compete with teams across Europe. Although Dyke played a significant role in the creation of the Premier League, Dyke and ITV would lose out in the bidding for broadcast rights as B-Sky B1 with a bid of £304 million over five years with the BBC awarded the highlights package broadcast on Match of the Day. In 1992, the first division clubs resigned from the Football League en masse, and on 27 May 1992 the FA Premier League was formed as a limited company working out of an office at the Football Association's then headquarters in Lancaster Gate. This meant a break-up of the 104-year-old Football League that had operated until then with four divisions. The Premier League would operate with a single division and the Football League with three. There was no change in competition format. The same number of teams competed in the top flight, and promotion and relegation between the Premier League and the new first division remained the same as the old first and second divisions with three teams relegated from the league and three promoted. The league held its first season in 1992-93. It was composed of 22 clubs for that season. The first Premier League goal was scored by Brian Dean of Sheffield United in a 2-1 win against Manchester United. The 22 inaugural members of the new Premier League were Arsenal, Aston Villa, Blackburn Rovers, Chelsea, Coventry City, Crystal Palace, Everton, Ipswich Town, Leeds United, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, Middlesbrough, Norwich City, Nottingham Forest, Oldham Athletic, Queen's Park Rangers, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, Southampton, Tottenham Hotspur, and Wimbledon, Luton Town, Notts County, and West Ham United were the three teams relegated from the old first division at the end of the 1991-92 season and did not take part in the inaugural Premier League season. Top 4 – Dominance 2000s. One significant feature of the Premier League in the mid-2000s was the dominance of the so-called Top 4 – Clubs, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester United. During this decade, they dominated the top 4 spots, which came with UEFA Champions League qualification taking all top four places in five out of six seasons from 2003 to 2004 to 2008 or 09 inclusive. While every season during the 2000s saw the Big Four always qualifying for European competition, Arsenal went as far as winning the league without losing a single game in 2003-04, the only time it has ever happened in the Premier League. During the 2000s, only four sides outside the Top four, managed to qualify for the Champions League. Leeds United, Newcastle United, Everton, and Tottenham Hotspur each occupying the final Champions League spot, with the exception of Newcastle in the 2002-03 season, who finished third.
In May 2008 Kevin Keegan stated that, Top 4. Dominance threatened the division, this league is in danger of becoming one of the most boring, but great leagues in the world. Premier League Chief Executive Richard Scudamore said in defense, There are a lot of different tussles that go on in the Premier League depending on whether you're at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom that make it interesting. Between 2005 and 2012, there was a Premier League representative in seven of the eight Champions League finals, with only, top four, clubs reaching that stage. Liverpool, Manchester United and Chelsea won the competition during this period, with Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea and Manchester United all losing Champions League finals. Leeds United were the only non, top four, side to reach the semi-finals of the Champions League, in the 2001 season. Additionally, between the 1 triple 9, 2 triple 0 and 2009 10 seasons, four Premier League sides reached UEFA Cup or Europa League finals, with only Liverpool managing to win the competition in 2001. Arsenal, Middlesbrough and Fulham all lost their finals. Emergence of the Big Six 2010s The years following 2009 marked a shift in the structure of the top four, with Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester City both breaking into the top four places on a regular basis, turning the Big Four into the Big Six. In the 2009-10 season, Tottenham finished fourth and became the first team to break the top four since Everton five years prior. Criticism of the gap between an elite group of super clubs and the majority of the Premier League has continued. Nevertheless, due to their increasing ability to spend more than the other Premier League clubs. Since the continued presence of Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur at the top end of the table, no side has won consecutive Premier League titles. Additionally, the Premier League is the only top-level national league in the UEFA countries in which no club successfully defended its championship in the 2010s. Manchester City won the title in the 2011-12 season becoming the first club outside the Big Four to win since Blackburn Rovers in the 1994-95 season. That season also saw two of the Big Four finish outside the top four places for the first time since that season, with only four UEFA Champions League qualifying places available in the league. Greater competition for qualification now exists, albeit from a narrow base of six clubs. In the following five seasons after the 2011-12 campaign, Manchester United and Liverpool both found themselves outside of the top four three times while Chelsea finished 10th in the 2015-16 season. Arsenal finished 5th in 2016-17, ending their record of 20 consecutive top four finishes. In the 2015-16 season, the top four was breached by a non-Big Six side for the first time since Everton in 2005. Leicester City were the surprise winners of the league, qualifying for the Champions League as a result. Off the pitch, the Big Six wield financial power and influence, with these clubs arguing that they should be entitled to a greater share of revenue due to the greater stature of their clubs globally and the attractive football they aim to play. Objectors argue that the egalitarian revenue structure in the Premier League helps to maintain a competitive league which is vital for its future success. The 2016-17 Deloitte Football Money League report showed the financial disparity between the Big Six and the rest of the division. All of the Big Six had revenues greater than €350 million, Euros, with Manchester United having the largest revenue in the league at €676.3 million. Euros. Leicester City was the closest club to the Big Six in terms of revenue, recording a figure of €271.1 million Euros for that season helped by participation in the Champions League. The eighth-largest revenue generator West Ham, who didn't play in European competition, had revenues of €213.3 million, Euros, nearly half of the club with the fifth-largest revenue, Liverpool. Development The number of clubs was reduced to 20, down from 22, in 1995 when four teams were relegated from the league and only two teams promoted. The top flight had only been expanded to 22 teams at the start of the 1991-92 season the year prior to the formation of the Premier League. On 8 June 2006, FIFA requested that all major European leagues, including Italy's Serie A and Spain's La Liga, 
be reduced to 18 teams by the start of the 2007-08 season. The Premier League responded by announcing their intention to resist such a reduction. Ultimately, the 2007-08 season kicked off again with 20 teams. The league changed its name from the FA Premier League to simply the Premier League in 2007. Corporate Structure The Football Association Premier League Limited is operated as a corporation and is owned by the 20 member clubs. Each club is a shareholder, with one vote each on issues such as rule changes and contracts. The clubs elect a chairman, chief executive, and board of directors to oversee the daily operations of the league. The Football Association is not directly involved in the day-to-day -day operations of the Premier League, but has veto power as a special shareholder during the election of the chairman and chief executive and when new rules are adopted by the league. The current chairman is Sir Dave Richards, who was appointed in April 1999, and the chief executive is Richard Scudamore, appointed in November 1999. The former chairman and chief executive, John Quinton and Peter Lever were forced to resign in March 1999 after awarding consultancy contracts to former Sky executives Sam Chisholm and David Chance. Rick Parry was the league's first chief executive. The Premier League sends representatives to UEFA's European Club Association. The number of clubs and the clubs themselves chosen according to UEFA coefficients. For the 2012-13 season the Premier League has 10 representatives in the association, Arsenal, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Everton, Fulham, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, Newcastle United, and Tottenham Hotspur. The European Club Association is responsible for electing three members to UEFA's Club Competitions Committee, which is involved in the operations of UEFA competitions such as the Champions League and UEFA Europa League competition. There are 20 clubs in the Premier League. During the course of a season each club plays the others twice, once at their home stadium and once at that of their opponents, for 38 games. Teams receive three points for a win and one point for a draw. No points are awarded for a loss. Teams are ranked by total points, then goal difference, and then goals scored. If still equal, teams are deemed to occupy the same position. If there is a tie for the championship, for relegation, or for qualification to other competitions, a playoff match at a neutral venue decides rank. The three lowest placed teams are relegated into the EFL Championship, and the top two teams from the championship, together with the winner of playoffs involving the third to sixth placed championship clubs, are promoted in their place. Qualification for European Competitions as of the 2009-10 season qualification for the UEFA Champions League changed, the top four teams in the Premier League qualify for the UEFA Champions League, with the top three teams directly entering the group stage. Previously only the top two teams qualified automatically. The fourth place team enters the Champions League with the playoff round for non-champions and must win a two-legged knockout tie in order to enter the group stage. The team placed fifth in the Premier League automatically qualifies for the UEFA Europa League, and the sixth and seventh place teams can also qualify, depending on the winners of the two domestic cup competitions i.e., the FA Cup and the EFL Cup. Two Europa League places are reserved for the winners of each tournament. If the winner of either the FA Cup or EFL Cup qualifies for the Champions League, then that place will go to the next best placed finisher in the Premier League. An exception to the usual European qualification system happened in 2005, after Liverpool won the Champions League the year before, but did not finish in a Champions League qualification place in the Premier League that season. The UEFA gave special dispensation for Liverpool to enter the Champions League, giving England five qualifiers. UEFA subsequently ruled that the defending champions qualify for the competition the following year regardless of their domestic league placing. However, for those leagues with four entrants in the Champions League, this meant that if the Champions League winner finished outside the top four in its domestic league, it would qualify at the expense of the fourth place team in the league. At that time, no association could have more than four entrants in the Champions League. This occurred in 2012, when Chelsea who had won the Champions League that summer, but finished sixth in the league qualified for the Champions League in place of Tottenham Hotspur who went into the Europa League. 
starting with the 2015-16 season. The Europa League champion automatically qualifies for the following season's Champions League, and the maximum number of Champions League places for any single association has increased to five. An association with four Champions League places, such as the FA, will only earn a fifth place if a club from that association that does not qualify for the Champions League through its league wins either the Champions League or Europa League. In 2007, the Premier League became the highest-ranking European league based on the performances of English teams in European competitions over a five-year period. This broke the eight-year dominance of the Spanish league, La Liga. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?